Hi, my name is Kenyon. I'm from a little hamlet in uh, the hinterland of Byron Bay in the north of New South Wales, Australia. A little place called Goonangarry. Um, I grew up there as a child and uh, moved to Sydney when I finished school and did an apprenticeship as a fitter machinist. So my background is engineering and construction. And uh, the motivation for coming to the temple was to, I felt that I had to, I was out of balance with my masculine and feminine. And also I had quite a strong addict within me. It was alcohol and marijuana and every other drug that you can name. Uh, was debilitating and uh, it had stagnated me and I'd lost a lot of direction and purpose too and, and happiness and contentment. So that was my main motivation for coming to the temple was to rebalance the masculine and feminine and also to get a grip of the, uh, the addict monkey that I had on my shoulder. Um, the experience here at the temple has been amazing. Uh, I kept my, how should you say, how should I say it, so I kept my, my intent very simple and basic and I felt instinctively that uh, if I was to rebalance or was able to rebalance the masculine feminine within me, it would allow me to uh, worship myself and the goddess everywhere because I felt from my experience um, in construction, it being such a, a masculine energy and a masculine control, domination, structured sort of environment and so much steel and concrete, I knew that I was out of balance. So that's, that's why I came. And um, amazingly, I'm, I felt, found my masculine and I can now worship the goddess in not only the planet, but uh, I see it in every woman I meet, <laughs> which is amazing. And um, that chauvinist male no longer resides in this body, <laughs> which is a great thing. It's a relief. My partner's very pleased too, of course. Being here at the, uh, at the temple and, and experience the ayahuasca, um, a lot of us have experienced some darkness. But uh, fortunately, I, I realised early on that uh, the darkness is necessary to appreciate the lightness and you need the two to balance it's uh, it's an integral it's a duality you need need one you can't have one without the other you need the both of them and the trick I found is the releasing to that reality that duality the, the it's integral to any work done here and um, there's always darkness where there's light there's always darkness it creates itself it's uh, it's, in, it's like a paradox, it's a, it's a, a, a bit like, um, it's complicated but simple. Um, it's, yeah, it's a paradox, there's a, a certain irony to it as well, because uh, in the West we're taught that um, lightness is the only thing that's good, but uh, we're not taught that darkness is necessary for that lightness. And I found that to be a very handy realisation in the work here that I've done with ayahuasca. Um, just recently I had a, um, a ceremony last night and my chakras were rebalanced, which I'd never experienced before. I've never even been that spiritual. And I don't really consider myself spiritual per se. It's more like a, it's just part of that balance. And as the maestro was rebalancing my chakras, I could hear the the addict monkey at my shoulder, going, Kenyan, Kenyan, you can have another joint. You can drink some more beer. <laughs> you can have some more pills. You can do more drugs. It's okay. And uh, the maestro was just such a beautiful man. I found it quite easy to ignore this monkey. <laughs> and uh, he rebalanced me all the way from my base up to my crown. And it was an amazing, amazing, uh, revealing, no, freeing experience. <clears throat> And after we had, he had finished the Icarus and I'd hugged him like a brother, like a father, like a, yeah, like a, like a fam familiar. And, uh, <laughs> and he's moved on to the guy next to me, Troy. And I've been able to look around over my shoulder and see the monkey addict or the addict monkey. And I could push him away. 
And as I pushed him away, because all this time he was pissed off, he wasn't happy about, he knew what was going to happen, I'm sure. It was obvious. And as I pushed him away, he just evaporated and went into vapour and is no longer on my shoulder. <laughs> so <clears throat> I'm not that naive to think that uh, I will never take drugs or smoke dope or drink beer or anything like that, but no longer will it rule me. And it's a most freeing feeling. Mm, thank you. <laughs>